some local politics. Joined in studio by Warwick Mayor Scott Avedesian this morning, telling us all about the things that are going on in his fine city. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning, Patrick. Let's talk about first the um, Appenog Circulator. That's been a project that's been under undergoing some serious. Uh, I should say the pace has picked up, it seems, to be the improvement there. Yep, we have two-way traffic through all of Appenag now. Um, obviously, the final um, end product won't be until next spring when we do all the landscaping and all of that. But if part of Centerville Road has been uh, removed, uh, adding a little bit of chaos, as people <laughs> say, we, there used to be a road there. Uh, but thus far, we're getting great reviews from what people are saying uh, as to the whole new road system. N not only people that drive on it, but I'm sure the businesses around that area are finally relieved to see that this is actually going to be completed and look very nice. Well, unfortunately, we, we were able to get um, two-way traffic in time for all the um, holiday shopping. Right. So, very positive so far. Let's talk about what's going on uh, with the school consolidation. I know it's been a hot topic in your city for a number of years now, and it seems to be continuing and evolving every year. There's a new school that comes up or a new plan that, puts in, that gets put into place or proposed anyway. What's the latest? Um, well, the school committee voted to um, repurpose one elementary school, close an elementary school, and then said that they would delay implementation of that for a year so that there would be uh, no problems with the rollout like they saw earlier this year when they did uh, the rollout of the brand new Vets right. Middle School. And after three or four months, how, is, how has it been now? How, have, has the complaint level gone down? It's gone it down a lot. I mean, there are still some issues. Sure. You know, obviously, um, change is difficult. And right. You have very old buildings. Um, and so we're encountering different problems as we get into the heating system sure. now and we've yeah. got to uh, change things around a little bit. But um, so far, so good. Uh, you know, physical plant issues, uh, they are addressing one by one. Let's talk about the airport. I actually uh, flew out of uh, Green this weekend to go uh, see a basketball game and see, see the Duke Maine basketball game in North Carolina. Who cares about my trip? Let's talk about the airport, though. The, I drive by that new runway a lot, and it looks like it's pretty close to being completed. They have been moving right along. You know, the new Maine Avenue is open, uh, so airport expansion is over. Uh, they will not be going into any further neighborhoods or taking any more homes, so it's a very good time for us uh, in stability in the city to know uh, that that pressure is no longer on everybody. Uh, they will be fully open and operational on the new runway um, next year, uh, but already there you can see yeah. tremendous amounts of progress. In fact, in, um, uh, today's story was that uh, Norwegian Airlines has um, been approved oh, wow. for some new service and we're hopeful that we can compete and bring them here. All right. So it would be uh, direct uh, Euro European flights out of green. Wow. All right. Hopefully. So we'll, we'll keep us posted on that. Finally, uh, tell us about maybe some family holiday traditions that you're looking forward to over the next couple of weeks. Uh, well, we have Christmas um, at my house on January 6th, which is when Armenians traditionally oh, okay. celebrate Christmas. Um, so uh, we're, we're a little delayed than everybody else, so it gives everybody an ability to go do all the things that they need to do prior to Christmas, and then we gather as a family afterwards. So you just go beyond New Year's Day. The celebration is almost like a month long. Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks for coming in. Thank you, Patrick. Happy holidays you to too. you and your family. And uh, to see this interview, again, in its entirety, if you'd like, just go to our website. It'll be on WPRI.com in just a few minutes.